some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Prince Frederick, Maryland with Taco Boy. And he tries to get into a WIC office and stands there for 20 minutes arguing with one of the office workers as to why he should be allowed in there. For those of you who are not in my American audience, WIC stands for Women, Infants, and Children. It is a service provided to lower income women who need uh, food stamps and formula for their infants. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We are back in Calvert County today, over here at the Department of Health. I believe this is right off of Solomon's Island Road. I'll put the address up on the screen. But yeah, as always, we're just here to gather some content for a story, exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, and to make sure that's not infringed upon by anybody. Taco Boy has no editing skills whatsoever, so he tends to leave a lot of dead air in his videos, so I'm going to have to skip ahead to the part where the argument starts. Do you have an appointment? What's up? Do you have an appointment? Oh, no. With Wick? What's up? Do you have an appointment with Wick? I just don't really answer any questions. Okay, this is the WIC office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't have an appointment with WIC, why are you in here? I'm just checking out the lobby. The lobby's outside, sir. Well, that's the hallway. This is the lobby. No, this is the WIC office. Kind of looks like the lobby to me. Sir, this is a public health facility. Yeah. Sometimes there's women in here nursing their infants. You don't need to be in here. You especially don't need to be filming. Why would they be nursing their infants in public? Why would a woman be nursing her infant in public? I don't know. You tell me. It is just one of those natural things that has to be done. Babies need all that milk. But nursing mothers still have to go out and perform tasks such as shopping or running errands. So you're going to see it eventually, especially if you work in retail. Which is probably why you're questioning it, because you've never worked a day in your life, even though your parents own a restaurant. Sir, this is a WIC office. Yeah. Women, infants, and children. Yeah. To get, like, food and yeah. medical if, assistance, if you, not to breastfeed their children. If you don't have an appointment here, sir, you don't need to come in here. Well, I didn't say if I did or didn't. I just said I'd really rather not answer any questions. Please. You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Step back. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just step on this side so nope. I'm not obstructing I, the doorway. I don't believe so. Why not? You do not have an appointment in here, sir. Yeah, I know. I'm not asking to receive any services. I'm just checking out the lobby. I'm just gathering some of the uh, public information that's available in the lobby right here on the wall. These pamphlets that you guys have for folks to come in and pick up. I'm grabbing some of those. Are you currently seeing a client? Yes. Okay. No, sir. Mm. So let's say, hypothetically, if I had an appointment, I would be sitting in one of these chairs, correct? Are you a breastfeeding mother, sir? I'm just asking. If I did have an appointment, would I be sitting in one of these chairs right now? Yes, no, maybe so. Can I got your tongue now? Yeah? Okay. All right. You okay? I'm perfectly fine, sir. Okay. Because you're just like standing here not saying anything. I, I am, in fact, standing right here. You know what that's called? obstructing. It's a violation of Maryland Criminal Code 10-201. 
Taco Terry, quoting laws that you don't understand. Just like any other auditor, you may want to check that again. Because, I mean, the common area might be the point of contention, but that is doubtful considering the WIC office would not be a common area. It would be restricted to a portion of the population that needs their services. Obstructing a public entrance? You're trying to gain ad admittance into okay. an area that you're not supposed to be in. But you're disrupting this lady I'm from not doing her job. You're disrupting anything. You're Absolutely, disrupting. you are. You're making it a scene, sir. I'm asking to be left alone and for you to quiet down. There are people working. It looks like you guys have open cubicles. Now, that's not my fault for a shitty choice and design of office, <sighs> but. I suggest we just keep it down a little bit and de-escalate so maybe she can do her job that you're speaking of. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. Well, yeah, it would take me about five seconds to grab some of those pamphlets and I'll be on my way, yeah, buddy. You, you've got a camera. Yeah. You're filming. Yeah. Just you're the... violating this woman's privacy. Well... Again, if I had an appointment, I would be sitting in the same lobby, correct? If you had an appointment. Yeah, let's just say hypothetically, if I did, I'd be sitting in the same lobby, correct? So wouldn't you guys be compromising her privacy by having her talk about her stuff while other people are sitting right here in this lobby? Wouldn't that also compromise? Do you only take one appointment at a time? Is no one else allowed in the lobby once you take an appointment? <clears throat> We have this great behavioral health office right downstairs. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw they you help, followed me. They help people. Yeah. Yep. And I disseminate information to people like that that need help since you guys do a bad job of letting them know it's available. Okay. That last statement went way over Taco Terry's head. He was basically telling you, you need all the mental help you can get. Maybe you should uh, practice what you preach, buddy. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab you no. some of these pamphlets. Thank you. No, no sir. Oh, could you? No, 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 sir. Oh, I just need to grab some of this information. No. If, if he takes a step in this office while you're seeing a client, isn't that trespass? Yeah. Isn't that trespass? <clears throat> Why you could just go ahead and call security. Sir, I just want to grab a couple of those pamphlets and I'll be on my way. This, this is not an area for you, sir. It is. It, it, it looks like it people sit right here. absolutely is not. It looks like folks sit right here all the time. <clears throat> this is where the kids sit and they play with toys. Do you, do you, like, do you play with preschool toys? It doesn't look like a kid's that's area. That's what that is right there. It looks like adult chairs to sit down in, sir. Yeah, I can see him playing with preschool toys. He may have the body of a 30-year-old, but his mental development is that of a preschooler. And definitely his social development is probably at the same level as well. Which, that would make him a man-child. I've asked some logical questions. If you guys only see one client at a time, and everybody else is required to stay in the hallway while one client comes in, then it would be different. And I understand that. But we haven't really established any of that. Mm. Hey, you, you mind uh, stepping out of the way, Mr. John? I just gotta grab a couple of those pamphlets and I'll be on my way, buddy. I don't think you need access to that, dude. Well, oh. I, I know you get Res off. Respectfully, I, know, I don't really care what you I think. I know you get off on walking around and that trying to gain access to places that don't. That information isn't. First off, I don't try to gain access to anywhere that I'm not allowed access to. You literally just followed me up here. No, you followed me up here, sir. I, I think if you go back and look at your own video, you'll see that you followed me in here. Yeah? Yeah. I know you said up here. Because I came up here and went into that office first. I didn't follow you up the stairs and come straight into this office. I went into that office and you followed me into there. The same as you followed me around the rest of the building. It's okay, Mr. John. It's all right. I get it, buddy. This is your moment. You want to seem cool to these ladies. 
You want to be the hero to protect them. You should go read the quote I wrote downstairs on that sticky note, Mr. John. At this point, I think he's projecting his own beliefs onto that man right there. Taco Terry is an incel that wants to look like he is a big man in front of women, but we all know he's not. So, therefore, he projects all his faults, all his failings onto this man so he can make himself feel better. It's not who you are, but what you do that defines you. Remember that. Just because you work for Calvert County, just because you're a security guard, doesn't mean you got to be a butthead. You could be a normal guy. Could be. Yeah, you could be. You're not, but you could be. Hey, you doing? <laughs> I'm doing better. <laughs> or been better. You know this guy, does he really work here? Or is he just, he just, he just come in here to be an obstruction? Are you asking me? Yeah, is he like a statue or what's going on? Because he's not really moving. Who? This guy. Oh, John? Yeah, he's just kind oh, yeah. he really He's stationary, though. Uh, is he broken? No, that's just his norm. Oh, uh, okay. This guy is, is, is trying to walk right. around and, and gain access to areas that he's not. I'm in. actually just trying to grab a couple of those pamphlets. Oh, no. Not supposed to be here. No, I'm supposed to be here. He's so, lying. So, I'm just trying to grab a couple of those pamphlets that are available to the public. Does this gentleman look like a client of WIC? And, and he's already admitted he doesn't have an appointment in no, WIC. No, I didn't admit that. And they're that. already seeing a client in uh, WIC who he's trying to film. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to film this person, apparently, man. Yeah. Which is why he's got the camera. Yeah. Yep. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Yep. You like lying to people that try to make me look bad. Dude, you've got the video. What's crazy you is You can like, roll it back and play it back and show. Cause, show what? Because you're going to walk around with your little camera and you're going to film everybody, including the uh, person yeah, no, who's sitting in the chair and has a right to privacy. Yeah. Even though this is a public building, Oh. she there has a go. right to privacy. In a public building? Yes. In you, a public lobby You can't of a public just building. go into a doctor's office and film the people that are there, dude. That's a You're violation right. of HIPAA. You're right, because a doctor's office is not public property, sir. That is a private health care facility. And that still hasn't stopped other moronic frauders like you from even trying it. You good? You even know what HIPAA stands for? Yeah. What's it stand for? It's the Patient Privacy Act. Mm hmm In the in the HI? I'll give you one of them. Eyes insurance. What's H stand for, buddy? Health information. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Good. You understand the acronym, then mm -hmm. you understand how it works. Maybe you shouldn't be compromising this person's private yeah. information by having it out for other people to hear in a public lobby. You're the one that's walking around with the camera, dude. Mm -hmm. And you're the one that's having these conversations in public. I'm standing here keeping you from filming that woman. No one wants to film that woman. Buddy. You absolutely do, because no. that's why you're walking around with a camera. I'm actually just, as I've stated six times now, grabbing a couple of those pamphlets right behind you on the wall, and I'll be on my way. Mm -hmm. You just love to try to like paint this narrative so that it justifies your ignorant behavior. I'm not painting any behavior. kind of narrative, dude. You're you walking around with You want to justify your ignorant behavior by trying to paint me in a bad light and perpetrate false narratives upon my character to justify your douchiness. Ah, gaslighting at its finest from one of the world's biggest douchebags. Let me ask you something. How many hours do you have to stand in front of a mirror practicing this narrative to become one of the biggest assholes in the world? Say what you want, dude. I will. The same as you just sat here and tried to lie to that woman and lie five other times. I'll say whatever I want. Man, I don't really see anything that says, please wait in the hallway until appointments are over. Or... Caution appointment. That says cover your cough, buddy. I can see that through here. 
You think I can't read that? Of course not. I don't think you can read it all. In fact, I think you've got, uh, at the very most, first grade reading level ability. And your comprehension skills might be a few steps lower than that. You've been waiting for this moment, haven't you? You've been sitting at home since you saw that video with Karen over there at the other building, just waiting for this moment, haven't you? Projection much? I don't think that guy has much of an issue getting together with any women. In fact, I do believe this is a massive projection on your part. There is no way you can attract any women at all, especially with that attitude. As soon as you saw me, you started following me to every little office, telling them I was coming, trying to be the hero. And it's okay, John. You are so lame! Okay. Now you can get whatever pamphlets you want. Nah, I think I'm lying. Okay, great. Thanks. <laughs> this guy has got some serious mental issues i guess that's why they won't let him work at the restaurant i guess that's why he's so unemployable that he has to walk around and do this all day long what a sad life to live